guys, my name is Dave and welcome to one of the Guitar Zero to Hero song tutorial. In this lesson, I'm going to teach you how to play Penguins by Ed Sheeran. And this is a great song on the acoustic guitar. Now for the basics, you'll need to get your guitar into drop D tuning. So you'll just need to detune one string. Your low E string will go down to a D. Once you have your sixth string to a D note, which sounds like that, you're good to go. The guitar I'm using in this video is the Fender Acoustasonic Player Telecaster. If you want to find out more, there's a link in the description below. Now, if you want to master your chords back to front, then be sure to head over to guitarzerotohero.com to pick up my free guitar ebook. Or if you want to improve any guitar in general, then sign up to Guitar Zero to Hero Premium, which is my complete step-by-step -step guitar course. Let's jump into the lesson. Let's start with our finger picking basics. Now, the thumb will always be plucking the sixth string. Now your index finger will be plucking both the fifth and fourth string, depending on which string we want to hit. So we just use two fingers on our picking hand for this entire song. Let's start with the intro, which is also the verse. And there's just two bars of music here, one line of tab. We're going to start with our index finger on the seventh fret of the fifth string. And we're going to pinch both the sixth and fifth strings together at the same time. And with your ring finger, hammer onto the ninth fret of the fifth string. So after our hammer on and pinch, we're going to pluck five notes. It's going to go bass note, fifth string, bass note, fourth string, and back to bass note. You want to make sure that that fourth string is open and ringing. So those five notes. And together with the pinch. One E and a two E and a. So that's going to be the picking pattern that we're going to be using throughout the entire riff here. So we're just gonna repeat that again and again and just use different chord shapes. So for our second chord shape, it's based around a B minor. We're gonna leave our ring finger where it is and middle finger goes on the ninth fret of the sixth string. We have the same picking pattern. So we start with a pinch, hold that out for an eighth note and then the five note picking pattern, which goes bass note, fifth string, bass note, fourth string, bass note. So the B minor. And the first bar. One E and a two E and a three E. Then we go down to an A sus4, so it's the same shape, just shifted down to the seventh frets. One picking pattern here, one E and a, two E and a, and then down to a G5. So same shape, just down at fifth frets. Three E and a, four E and a. And we put that all together in the intro and the verse sounds like this. and the riff at a faster speed. So that's the intro and verse. Now I do want to note that in the recording, Ed Sheeran does add this ghost note to the end of this picking pattern at times, where at the end of the five note picking pattern, he's adding an, an extra pluck. So I'll show that below in the tab here. And this is optional as well. You don't have to play this, but sometimes Ed Sheeran is playing it, sometimes he's not. But basically, we're just adding an extra fifth string pluck at the end of the picking pattern. So for this D position, one E and a two E and a. So it's an extra fifth string pluck on the end of that picking pattern. Now, what makes this tricky is that we're going to have to quickly go to our next shape and pluck that fifth string again. So you're going to have to pluck that fifth string twice in a row fairly quickly. If we add that ghost note into the main picking pattern, it would sound like this. Now that's optional, but in the playthrough and the rest of this lesson, I'll be using the simplified picking pattern without that ghost note at the end. But if you want to, you can add that as well. Next, we move to the pre-chorus and there's three lines of tab here. We're gonna start with uh, D major seven slash F sharp shape. So it's the same two fingers, middle and ring finger on the fifth and sixth string, but just down at the fourth fret now. We're gonna use one picking pattern here. And then go up to the G for one picking pattern. And then we're gonna play the D shape with the hammer on. And then we go to our A, one picking pattern here. So that's the first two bars, which sounds like this.
For the third bar, we're going to play the D picking pattern with the hammer on. We're gonna continue on in the shape with our ring finger on that ninth fret, and we're just gonna pluck this for an extra three picking patterns, and we don't have to do that hammer on. So that's it for the first line of tab. For the second line of tab, we're gonna play our G for two picking patterns. Our A for two picking patterns. Then our B minor for two picking patterns. Now in the recording, I actually hear a slight difference in the picking pattern. You can play the typical picking pattern, but I'm just going to tweak it a tiny bit here. For the first pinch, we're gonna pinch the sixth and fourth strings together, but everything else will remain the same, just for this bar. So the B minor. Then we go down to the D major seven slash F sharp, and we're gonna play this for two picking patterns, and we return back to our typical pattern. So the second line of tab. For the third line of tab, our first two bars are identical to the second line of tab. For the third bar, we're gonna go down to this E minor shape, so our chord shape just goes down to the second fret. Two picking patterns here. And then we go back up to the G shape for two picking patterns. And that's the pre-chorus in total, which sounds like this. Next we move on to chorus one and there's two lines of tab here. So we're gonna start with our D position and we're gonna do that hammer on. And we play that picking pattern twice. Then we go down to our A for one picking pattern. And then to the G for one picking pattern. Those two bars will sound like this. Now those two bars are repeated through three times. And then for the second line of tab, in the third bar, this is where we change things up. We're gonna go up to our B minor. We're gonna play two picking patterns here. And then down to our A for one picking pattern. And that's it for chorus one, which sounds like this in total. Next we get to the break after chorus one and these two bars are identical to the third and fourth bar in the pre-chorus. So we've already learnt that. So it's just holding on to that D position, playing it for four picking patterns and the first time we play it, we have that hammer on. So the break. Chorus two is identical to chorus one, except we add an extra two bars of music here. So for the third line on tab, we play the D for one picking pattern with that hammer on. 
and then the B minor for two picking patterns. And then down to the A for one picking pattern. So these extra two bars at the end of chorus two sounds like this. Then we get to the break after chorus two, which differs from the previous break a little bit. So we're gonna start with our D pattern with the hammer on as well, but we're gonna add the extra pluck in at the end of this picking pattern, which is an extra fifth string pluck with your index finger. So one E and a, two E and a. And for the next three picking patterns, there's no hammer on, just keep your ring finger where it is. And our picking pattern is just the bass note, hold that out and then the six pluck. So bass note, fifth string, bass note, fourth string, bass note, fifth string. And that picking pattern's played three times. So the second break sounds like this. Next we get to the bridge and there's two lines of tab here. For the first line of tab, we return back to our typical picking pattern. We're gonna play a B minor for one picking pattern down to our G for one picking pattern. And then the D position with the hammer on. And then A for one picking pattern. And the first line of tab in total. Now that line of tab is played through four times. And then for our second line of tab, it's the same as break number two. So we've already learned that. And that's it for the bridge. Now we get to the third chorus. Now for the third chorus, we're gonna start with our D position and we're gonna just pinch the fifth and sixth strings and do the hammer on. And then hold that out for the full bar. So one, two, three, four. And then we go to our A, one picking pattern here, and G for one picking pattern. And we're just gonna repeat that twice for the first line of tab. So. The second line of tab it's the same as the second line of tab for the other choruses as well except after we play the final a chord there's a two beat break and then we go into the final chorus so that's it for the third chorus now we get to the final chorus which is very similar to chorus number two so there's three lines of tab here the first two lines of tab are identical to chorus one and chorus two for this third line of tab, the first two bars we've already learnt in chorus two. So we're doing the D position. And then the B minor twice. And then the A once. So that part we've already learnt. For the final chorus, we have an extra two bars here. So, so we're gonna do the D position one more time with the hammer on. And then go to the B minor, pinch and then hold that out, and then go down to our A, pinch, and then to end the song, one pinch of the open D position, and we're gonna do that hammer on. And that ends the song. So I'm just gonna play the third line of tab for the final chorus. And those are all the parts to this song. Now the song is plucked fairly quickly. So when you're learning this, I would recommend just practice that at a slow speed and then slowly work your way up as you get more comfortable with that typical picking pattern. So now I'll be doing a full playthrough of the song and of my good friend, Eric Lenning, his awesome vocals to this playthrough. Feel free to play this back as many times as you'd like to to practice, play along to, and see how you go.
smoking a cigarette in the toilet cubicle. Red dress, tiny chest. She's beautiful. The same the time, the place, the start, the future. Thanks so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this lesson, then I know you'll absolutely love these other lessons too. So hit the link here, or if you want to grab a copy of my free guitar ebook, then head over to guitarzeritohero.com or click the link here. Thanks so much, and I'll see you guys next time on Guitar Zero to Hero. Cheers.